All right, we got a Grayland challenge from down under again. This is Michael, who was just a couple of days ago was uh, had had a Land Rover. Now we are testing a, you know, this is the big one. This is the V twelve seven. That's a seven sixty BMW. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, that's a V twelve motor. Now we just got done shooting a uh, four cylinder Honda, which you know had pollution. We took to zero. Talk about a challenge. I welcome this one. It's in the continent of Australia. We're on the eastern shores of the United States. We are now sending an image to Michael's phone, and let's start this challenge. Okay, Mike. Fire up your uh, doctor. Uh, you're a dentist, right? Yep, yep, yep. Doctor. Okay, awesome. Um, you know the difference between – you're not a mechanic, so we know that you're a, a, a dentist. Um, but but I, I bet as well as everyone else out there, you know the difference between a dryer vent and the exhaust of a car. We are going to take a challenge and have it that you cannot tell the difference between the two. <laughs> Shall we? Okay. Start the car up. Start the car up. And uh, what year is this one? What year? Um, two. Uh, Two oh four. Great, beautiful ride. Boy, you, you, Michael, you're shooting great challenges in Australia. You got camera, you got separate phone. It's Ring Central. Is it really easy just to set this network up, no matter where you are? Yeah, on the laptop's pretty good. Yeah. Piece of cake, you know. <laughs> He's asking, do you want him to smell it? Yep, yep, yep. Smell the exhaust, you know, commit it to memory. And uh, we're not going to ask RPMs because we've been running into RPMs with uh, BMWs that have been steady. I've been talking and referring with BMW mechanics, and they are assuring me that, uh, yes, even though some of the other octanes uh, make a difference and RPMs change, uh, BMW is going to hit, hold steady. Um, so I'm, I'm still on the fence. We've seen a few drop and a few haven't. So, but we are looking for pollution in in all of our Grayland challenges right now. Right now. All right, take that image. Start holding that image toward the uh, car itself. Okay. As we um, start the clock. Perfect. Yeah, our product is uh, available on the Grayland.com or the Grayland Factory Authorized Representative Affiliate websites. Uh, uh, contact us if you are interested in uh, being a part. Like uh, Michael got excited, he heard about the uh, Grayland Challenge, took the Grayland Challenge, and then wanted to take the next step, wanted to show the world and promote applied quantum mechanics technology. It is very simple to use. We pride ourselves in simplicity. Uh, as you can see, Michael is going through the process by holding the image that we sent his smart device. We have now automated, uh, we have the ability officially to our grand opening, we have now the ability to stop pollution in a 24-hour period worldwide on our platform. Um, the world just simply needs to know how. So we shot these videos. We're not looking to have the most videos in the world. We are looking to have the most videos on YouTube that are under one category, cars that are no longer polluting our environment. Michael, I believe that's good. Let's uh, 2,000 RPM, and if you can, for uh, two more minutes. Two thousand. Now, I imagine that uh, the dentistry business is quite good in Australia. Seems that most uh, of the people I. 
I, I've seen in Australia their teeth are slightly off. I'm just kidding, Australia. It's their hairline. It wasn't their teeth. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> I love Australians. They they have been stepping up. It's awesome down there. We we're on. I mean, it's our technology can go every place. We're imploding the toxins. We are moving them from the engine into the, I'm sorry, from the tank into the engine. And this is what pollution is. It's simply uncooked hydrocarbon. The engine's not hot enough to burn all of the toxin completely. We've remedied that by utilizing an anti-frequency for each of those toxins so that they melt inside the motor and burn effortlessly by imploding. Give me uh, three punches to the floor and I think this challenge is ready. BMWs along with those Mini Cooper engines that uh, come out in them, they, uh, that's things NASCAR ready. Uh, BMW, they, they burn rich. Uh, they, they have a very pungent smell. Heavy odor. Did our RPMs change at all? Michael, can you hear me? Oh, we got a range. Beautiful car. Twelve years old. Look at this. Gorgeous. So he says it's gone down from about five hundred, uh, six hundred down to five hundred now on the idle. Okay, now we had a BMW that drops. Awesome. It's a V12. Wow. Okay. Well, engineers at um, Germany, yeah. you got a solenoid issue there in some of your cars because our technology does lower. The RPM. Take uh, let's uh, let's see how the smell's doing. Doctor dentist from Australia. Got glasses. I'm have them, uh, see if the, hold them glasses next to the exhaust. Are they fogging? Oh, yes. Yes. It it does smell different. Thank you, Doc. It smells smells less less uh, petroly, <laughs> if I can say less that. Petro. Well, it's just getting started. You know, you run that thing for about two tanks of uh, gas, and uh, be sure to change the oil on that car. You, uh, it's got enough toxin in there that's built up over the years. Uh, two tanks of gas, change the oil, and. Uh, I'd run it another, you know, even 1,500, 2,000 miles, and then and even a second oil change to get out what, uh, what finally broke free. Uh, then you're going to see an increase. Yeah. Yeah, just a couple oil changes. One at, uh, I'd say, 500 miles and one at around 1,800. And uh, then your, your engine is really going to kick ass. But, uh, hey. Thank you guys, Michael, Doctor. I appreciate it. Um, this is Thunder from Grayland.com with another Grayland challenge. Uh, for this uh, moment, we're sending out another uh, ten pack to Australia. Uh, first four hundred videos that we shoot YouTube get uh, twenty five hundred dollars worth of our uh, field device. Uh, Michael's free on MGM to uh, act as an actor in a in a movie for you if you like. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Maybe you can use this as a credit someday. Uh, until next time, this is Thunder. Be good.